Hello everyone, this is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I hope you are having a wonderful day and thank you so much for taking a little bit of time to visit me on my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a project of card with you showcasing the Crafting Forever stamp set. This is from our annual catalog and it's actually one of my most favorites. I love just everything about it. I'm a paper crafter obviously, but this also has art and you know crafting forever housework whenever a lot of us feel this way uh there's just a lot of great sentiments on here and i'm just going to jump right in if you're new to my channel welcome you can find everything you see in today's video directly on my shopping page my pink stamper or shop mypinkstamper.com and i'm robin please let me know if you have any questions okay so today is a really fun and bright card I am so excited to um, start it with you guys. I'm having a little bit of problem, a little bit of problem speaking today. You might get crazy Robin tonight and that's okay. It is nighttime here in my house and we are just having a lazy day. So I thought I would share a little bit of stamping with you guys. All right, so we are going to start with this stamp right here, this image. And we're also going to be using the do something creative every day. I absolutely believe that 100% that we should all do something creative every day. Whatever that is for you, it'll just help your day go so much better. So we're going to use our, I'm using, I'm stamping on our thick whisper white cardstock. This is just a piece of our eight and a half by 11 sheet. I just have a quarter sheet right here. And then I'm using our Tuxedo Black Memento ink. I'm going to ink that up and just stamp that right on here like that. Now I can put this away for just a little bit, a few minutes, and we'll go ahead and color this. I'm going to be using my favorite way to color our images and that is with our stamp and Blend markers right here. We're using all of these colors. We're going to start with the Crumb Cake Blend Combo. It comes with the light and the dark blends. These are our alcohol-based markers and they're called Stampin' Blends because you can blend them if you want. You can also just use them to color everything and anything in your path, which I do a lot. So I'm just going to quickly color this. I'm not sure if I'll even speed this part up because it really doesn't take that long. It's okay if you go outside the lines. This is supposed to be art. It doesn't have to be perfect. Usually if I go outside a little bit, I make sure that I go out in other areas. <laughs> so, I'm so funny because you don't have to be perfect, but you have to go outside the lines um, evenly. Isn't that crazy that I just said that? So just didn't want it in one spot, basically. Okay, I'm going to like just shade that in just a little bit. And then if you want, you can color the brushes with the brown. I'm not going to on this one. And I'll show you at the end of the video, one that I did that on. We'll start with our dark, or not start. We're going to use our dark granny apple green. And I'm going to just color up some of the brushes. Like they splatter places. They splatter all over, right? Mine's splattering up and over and out. Okay. So I have the granny apple and I just did three. Now I'm using Bermuda Dark Bermuda Bay and I'm going to do this brush here and this one and I'll do this little piece over here or this little one over here. And then the rest, besides the blade, I'm going to use the uh, it's dark, lovely lipstick, and it coordinates really well with our Melon Mambo. So I'm going to be using Melon Mambo cardstock in a little bit here. Okay, how fun is that? And now I can set these aside. And I'm going to grab my die cut machine here. And I'm using an oval from our layered, our stitched our stitched shapes. It comes with ovals, squares, and circles in four different sizes each. It's one of my most used die sets that we carry. 
And that's it. And voila. Now I have this cute oval. Okay, what's next? Let's grab our paper here. I'm going to take this piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock. This is cut at three and a half by four and three quarters. And I'm going to use it with our Buffalo Check background stamp. And I have this just on a, um, a die cut plate, but you can use it on a flat surf surface, one of our very large blocks, or even keep it in the case if you'd like to. I'm going to use that with our Granny Apple Green ink pad. Just ink that up like this. Now I'm going to take the cardstock and make sure that I have my thumbs in the middle so it, this is the first area that hits the stamp. Put it on and then I did it a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Use my background paper, rub it on there. And then I have this fun Buffalo Check background that we made ourselves. Now I can put this whole card together. This is a piece of our Bermuda Bay cardstock. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I'm going to fold it in half like this. And now I'm gonna start layering this up. This is a piece of our basic black cardstock. This is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to add some of our snail adhesive to the back of it. And I want this to kind of go off to the side a little bit, be a little bit crooked like that. And now I'm going to take this Buffalo check piece, add some of our snail adhesive, and I want this to kind of be crooked this way. Look at how fun that is. Just makes me feel artistic even putting that together. Now I'm going to add this little strip of Melon Mambo cardstock. It's cut at a quarter of an inch by three and three quarters. And I'm going to use our mini glue dots to attach that. I'll just put on, I like using the mini glue dots for smaller pieces because I can just move the glue dots if they hang over the side. I can just, just push them right in. And this is going to go kind of up at the top. It's going to go across the Grammy apple like that. And now, oop, I forgot to stamp right there. Let's go ahead and use our Tuxedo Black Memento and stamp our sentiment. Do something creative every day, right there. And I'm going to take our Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm almost done here. Need to open up another pack in a sec. I think I have one more, all right. That I can use for now, but I don't wanna. You can also use the extra side pieces if you want. All right, and I'm going to add that right here. And I have a quick and simple card, although when you look at it, you wouldn't think that it took under 10 minutes to make. Maybe a little bit more time to cut the cardstock. And here's the one that I made where I went ahead and um, added the crumb cake to the brushes so you can decide what you'd like to do on your card. You can find me and more of my projects and video tutorials on my website, mypinkstamper.com. If you like what you saw, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment for me so I can see what you think of this video tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.